Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, a session 25, part 2. Nearly forgot when we were there. It's the 8th of November 2019. I am Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Hi, I'm Callum. I'm playing a human sorcerer called Lord Avery Greenwood. Hello, I'm Scott, playing the half art paladin named Crumbert. Sorry, had the complete main blank there. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> what am I? Um, I'm Sophie. I play Kitty Lakill, a wood elf rogue. Well done. Oh, yeah. I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. Perfect. Um, what will we do if Stu ever changes character, right? We're all going to be thrown out of it for that nice full stop that we always get, you know? Um, right, let's throw ourselves I'm, I'm just waiting on the day that. Sophie slips and says to Baxi. Never. Yeah. Half yeah. elf is hard enough to say, by the way. Yeah. Elf. Elf. Both elf. The yep. Half yeah. elf. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right, okay. So, meanwhile, in the fight, where we were. Ta da! And then. Oh, oh. Somebody's got a bonus action. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Well. Yep, hit us with that bonus action. What did you want to do with your bonus action? I lower my hammer and then I. Oh, hang on. I need to make sure I remember this right. Mm -hmm. uh, talk to me, what would you like to do? I'll choose. Um, spell slot, which I think is three sorcery points, but I'm just double checking. What is this? Sorry, what are you saying? A uh, what? A uh, second level spell That'll slot. That would be two sorcery points if you're looking to cash them in. If it's to make one, it costs, I think it's three for your level. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to spend my three sorcery points. If you click on it, it should be in your sorcery. Yeah, it says it now, weirdly enough. I feel like you would this, because it did not say this before. I did not. Which oh. means it said it the whole time. No. I mean, I feel like it probably has. You've maybe just no, not read it. it has not said this part. This part's new. I don't think so. Like, I, feel... I had to go look it up in the compendium each time. No, I feel like, let's here. just paste it into chat. Like, flexible no, casting. No, like oh, this part. Oh, yeah, this part. That part. Look, that part's new. No, I don't think it is. It wasn't near before. I mean, I, I have not edited this character sheet, so... Aye, it's been updated. Maybe it has been updated, actually. Like, that is a possibility, because Roll20 does update the the character thing. I just but, wouldn't have thought it would have changed your character sheet automatically. Hmm. So, but yeah, yeah I'm, doing, I'm making a second spell slot. Cool. Many sorcery points you got? Uh, none now. Mm -hmm. I had three before. And now my eyes glow blue. So here's a thing, right? So you can transform, right? So bonus action return. So you're using three points just to make a slot, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Okay, okay. And then it's Grumba. Grumba Denimbrook. So I was thinking about this when I was having a wee norm in a Totally not making a hot water bottle. Okay. That cold? Fully, <laughs> fully acceptable. I know, right? Um, so Crombars is kind of stared over it, you know, the the bleeding mass on the floor, and uh, looked back and went, "I would." And this what bleeding mass on the floor? Oh, the oh yeah, the, the the bodies, the pile of bones and such. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I was like, "Wait, who um, died?" <laughs> who? Um. And just say to him, uh, you you sorely underestimate me, for I am an orc with the power of dragons, and repeatedly go to swing. Axe at his face. Except please, please hit. Please hit. Please hit. <laughs> Damn it. He casts counter spell against your axe. <laughs> he casts. <laughs> move out the way. <laughs> Boom, bitch! Get out the way. <laughs> Who knew his cast uh, was see. boom bitch? Yeah, I don't see I it. I see you swinging your axe. I cast sidestep. I don't see the the roll though. So, do you know? Fuck, do. No, no roll. Yeah. 
Nah, you need to fix this shit. Uh, right, two seconds. What browser are you using? Uh, Waterfox. Yeah. Waterfox. Yeah, I think we all, we all know how we feel about go that. Go for a standard one. Like Fire Chrome. Like, like, the game like like it's, is optimised for like Chrome and Firefox. Probably Chrome more than Firefox, but yeah. Yeah, I see that one. Did you see that one? Right. So it's closed like everything else down. Like, uh, so I'm not in like the game manager or anything like that either. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to share something to the, uh, the chat as well. Just while we're here. GG um, general. That'll do. I think we all know that doesn't hit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I so. Oh, so that's my um, hot water bottle that I have. Just so you know. Tom Holland, <laughs> lovely. Um, I've got a Sean Sheep one and uh, <laughs> oh, the other one. I'm the lion. Yeah. Um, so embarrassingly, I shall end my turn. Yeah, and I think like as you like you see power the dragons and swing in with the kind of like fiery dragon axe, he just kind of again bats it away with like the palm of his hand, and he says, "I've found the dragons wanting in my time." I think he was talking about my little dragon. <laughs> my little dragon, <laughs> apocalypse dragon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, okay, so reach. Unless Crumbar has any bonuses that he wants to do, probably no. not. I feel like we should just let this guy go because if he wanted to kill us, he would have killed us. Is your Leon hands uh, heal yourself, possibly? Crumbar, because that's not a bad idea. He can, but yeah, it's an there's, action. There's... Oh, that's an action, right? Okay. can, but there's no point in heal myself, though. Right, okay, yeah, cool. I right, jump in and. Baton. I love how he says that, but he did 18 damage to Crumbar last time. And Crumbar has 14 health now. <laughs> yeah, but Crumbar or Spaz are lent turns. Do a wee punch, hit some, yep. and then jump back. Yep. And uh, we yep. another Hits. thing, yep. hit some. And yeah, nice. fairly consistent. Yeah. Again, so yeah. Yep, you were definitely still annoying. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, he's like too busy, like, you know. Boasting and showboating in front of Crumbar that obviously you're again punching and like blasting. He still hasn't worked out an effective counter for that yet, so. Look like a butterfly, sting like a gnat in this case. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's stinging. Uh, Kitty? Well, it's from a safer distance now. <laughs> <laughs> um. Remember, you do all have healing potions. Just gonna point that out as well. Like, oh yeah, yeah, I should probably heal. Um, I'm gonna I mean, I've not been hit. Yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Where is my healing potion? Not been hit yet, but you did like touch a wall of lightning. Yeah. No, I I wasn't hit. My book was hit. No, you were hit. Skate You were hit by it. Oh, but I'm a lightning. I'm a lightning sorcerer. It didn't touch me. <laughs> that must What's be her potion? Well, later on it does. Maybe that's what we were going to do. We were going to make everybody a potion button to click. I feel like that was maybe it. Um, yeah. Like, is it 2d4 plus 2? Plus 2. Yeah. yeah. I've got one. Woohoo. You just got the dice option on the left hand side. Just... Oh, 2d4 whole... plus. <laughs> oh, no, wrong thing. That's 4 There we go. So nine plus two, which is nine. Now we're German. <laughs> Thirteen health, yes. Nice, nice. Yeah, Volt. Um, right, so that was your action. Pull it out. Part of your move. Glug glug glug. Action. Any bonus action nonsense or movement? Um, I can still shoot my crossbow, can I? So no. No. Your action was to drink. Yeah, but bonus action. Does not. Oh. Yep. You would no. need to have made a melee attack to get your bonus action uh. to attack. You still need to take the attack action to benefit from that, sadly. Well, end my turn then. <clears throat> not moving anywhere, no. Okay. No. 
cool. So yeah, this guy looks around at all of you. He doesn't look, like, I mean, altogether great. Do you know what I mean? He doesn't look particularly flustered, if that makes sense as well. But he doesn't look like he was um, as pristine as he started this fight, because he has been stabbed and burnt and electrified and radiant punched and, you know, like, he's, he's had better days. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm glad we're at least dishevelling his clothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like he, he ate, like when he's had multiple puncture wounds, he's had an axe rip across him. Do you know what I mean? Being shot yeah. in the back with lightning, shot in the face with lightning, um, punched in the face. Um, yeah, the guy doesn't look great, um, but he is still holding his own against you. And he kind of looks around at everybody. And he looks at Eric. He looks at Reach. Looks at Kitty, looks over at Crumbar. And he just kind of starts laughing. Just maniacally. Just to the point where it's like he starts to like hold his stomach, because obviously he's got that wound that he's kind of burnt closed. And he's just kind of holding his stomach, laughing. And it's like, Do you think this matters? Probably not in the great scheme of things, but that's fun for the moment. <laughs> Um, so I could be like really Edwin, and um, right now killing you is all that matters. I don't think we can kill him. He, uh, he as I said, can kill a human. He's, can get him. he's laughing, kind of buckled over. Do you think this matters? Kind of does that thing where he stretches and puts a hand on like his lower back with the other hand on his wound on his stomach. And he kind of just breathes out slowly and he says, Okay, let's do this. And uh, in a flash, he appears there and then casts Lightning Bolt. Oh! Through all three of you. Yeah, it's nice yeah. Well, it's nice knowing you guys. This is what I wanted. Looks like I'll die before I get it. So, uh, let's start with Eric. Can I give me a deck saving throw? It's against 17. I right, going for the average. Yeah, cool. That means I still survive. <laughs> I was just wondering. Nope, one. I need one from you now as well. Reach, and one from Kay. Text saving, text saving. Yes. Okay. Seventeen half of that. Eight. Cool. So Reach will take half damage from this, everybody else takes full damage. Except Crumbar who's not in the, the range at all. Um I don't know if you can see it, but it is 86. Uh, right, so let's just do 4 and 4, shall we? Ooh, I hit the deck. So, that is 38 total. So, take 38 damage for me, a uh, first person. Oh, reach, you only take half of that. Okay. Um, right, I didn't add that up. Right, okay, I thought it was something else. Right, shit. Oh, 19, God. I think it is, okay. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 19 is half, so you take 19 damage. 19, yeah. I just realised I was muted because I was hacking along up. Yeah, my, I can't... Oh, there we go. Fuck's sake. My first dexterity save was 11, by the way. Oh, we but, see that. Like, I, um, oh, you can see that. Oh, okay. Because like, I could hear everything mm -hmm. popping up through some thing, but like... It yeah. would have to have been 17 or higher to have made the save anyway, so you take 38 lightning damage. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Yep, and you still take yeah, it. Yeah, he nearly outright killed me as well. Yep. So what, do I pit myself with the skull and crossbone? Uh, take the skull damage, and, put, and yeah. then... And then boot and crossbones, if you're down. He needs to roll seven more, then he would just outright killed me there. Uh, it could have happened, man. It could have happened. I know, that's what I was scared about. I was thing like, is, oh, that's fuck. a lot of sixes I rolled. So, yeah. That was a it, it had been a really high roll, but still, jeez. Like, 
I'm sweating Four on. sixes and a five. I know, yeah. it was a disgustingly good roll. Um, yeah. Keep in mind though, that's what the fireball does as well, that's the amount of damage, it's a nice spell. Lightning bolt's just nice because yeah, it's not a line. Yeah. Where the hell is the fireball? A fireball, yeah, in the right place, yeah. yeah. It's a 20 foot radius, it's crazy. Can he misty step and then do that or something? Uh, he teleported and then did that. How he did it, okay. who knows. But yeah. Because that was my combo that I was building up to. Get the lightning. So, um, right. So, Crumber, you just see him do the holding of his stomach after laughing, stretching with his back, and then just breathing in and out and going, okay. Let's do this. And then he vanishes from the front of you. Like a red kind of electrical crackle. And he appears mm. there and there's this big crazy bolt of lightning shoots through all three of them as they all like kind of wince in agony and hit the deck, sparking between them. Um and then the the red man turns to you, Crumber, and says Choose Come after me. Or save your friends while you can. And then, uh, Eric, I need a death save. Son of a bitch. Just roll a 20. Nope, mark a fail. Nope. Crumbar. Remember, you can lay on hands as many actions as you can. You just you could give them one health each and it would get them back on their feet. But that is one failed death save already. What's your thoughts, Scott? You're also muted, maybe. No, I'm not. Just thinking. Okay, cool. Yeah. You could, okay. Because he said choose. Yeah, like, this typical villain choice, right? Jimmy choose. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it makes me think that if I run over to heal them, he's going to do the boost. Well, I mean, it's really on Crumbor. What Crumbor does, does he go and try and save his friends? Because meta gaming wise, you know, Eric's failed one death save, which means if he crit fails the next one, he's dead. Like dead, dead, gone. Yeah, yeah. carrots are gone. Yeah. Active. So at the moment, there's no real losing. Beside this, <laughs> right? So besides whoa, Eric, whoa, whoa. right? So besides <laughs> er Eric is actually at a threat right now. So if you don't heal him, yeah. he could be a right he off. Could die next time. Yeah. I mean, and then Callum makes that female half orc he slept with as a character. Oh, and then... yeah. <laughs> that makes some awkward rules. Hi, Mr. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> 100% on board with this. Um, <laughs> I mean... No pressure, right? Guys, what would you rather me do? What do you think is the best? We would rather you saved us, right? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I would rather <laughs> you act as Krumba. Acting character. If Krumba has Don't hostage, tell him that at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> look after our characters. Look after him. A paladin would airport. look after life. Yeah, but he's an orc, and he's enraged. So, you're, there's no rage. He's not a barbarian. So, Crumbar, your your entire party is done, right? Because keep in mind, I like narratively, this happened to Arya too, right? Hence why she can't just heal everybody, right? So, ignoring Arya, <laughs> it, you're on your own, right? Yeah. You're on your own. That he's just so, bolt lightning bolt through every day and knock them out through some cunning mathematical luck that I never killed every day in one go. And yeah. So it's a case of and you saw that Eric seemed to take the brunt of that as well since he was at the front of it. Probably amplified through his hammer that's a lightning amplifier uh, to hit reach and K. Okay. We won't talk about that too much. And then um, <laughs> too late <laughs> but yeah he looks in a bad way so it's up to Crumber if he would instinctively go to heal his buddies obviously metagame wise we know you want to get to him first because it, again when the turn order yeah. goes all the way around if it gets to Eric and he rolls a 1 he is dead he's no longer dying he's dead 
no amount of healing will bring him back. So, I mean, is that really such a bad thing, guys? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's um, for Crumbar to decide, right? But this guy has obviously done this to see pick. Are you going to come after me or heal them? I hate you, Ryan. This is hard. It's not me. It's a. Uh, so it's entitled to Crumbar. I mean, this, this, I, I present choices and you make decisions based on those choices and realistically, right, this guy's... Oh, uh, what am I doing? Ignore that. He's going to go back to where Which he was. Yeah. No, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> put him back to wherever <laughs> he was. was. He, yeah, he was there for the line. It's because I pressed the wrong button. This is the button I wanted to do, which was... Oh, he's lovely. It looks like Emperor Ming's emo cousin. <laughs> Now he just found out that My Chemical Romance were getting back together, <laughs> but he, he wasn't in time to get the tickets. He was he was four minutes sadly on his booking, and they sold out in three minutes for the tour. So that's why he's been crying. I know that's a really weird time specific joke that is, but uh, in years <laughs> to come when we listen back to this, uh, that'll be funny. So I'm just really trying to think because well, you could walk over to Eric. And use Lay on Hands. You could give him one hit point from that pool of 20 you can give out, and he would be safe. Really? I, you wouldn't have to heal me the minus 19 I'm down? Nope. As soon as you get any source of new hit points, you heal from zero. It's amazing. Okay. It's pretty good, isn't it? So. Aye. This is going to sound bad. It will. But just because of how I'm going to word it, but I'm not caring about Eric other two. I know I can heal Eric and then probably still get to him. Like, uh, the baddie guy. It's the other two. The only person in danger is the one you don't heal second. Right? But we'll know how bad that is when Reach does his death save. Because if he rolls a 1 or a 20... That answers that question. And if he rolls a normal. Uh, uh, yeah. Am I not even thinking if he actually heals me, I could heal Eric? You don't have any healing. Well, medicine. I get medicine. Uh, no, because you don't actually have the healer feat. You cannot provide hit points for that. Um, it it stabilises him, like, uh, it stops him from dying. You, in theory, could, yeah, on your turn. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, this poor health potions that you store. Not at this stage, you can't. Kitty, yeah. okay, you're awful quiet. What are you thinking? Nothing, because I'm pretty much collapsed, pass out on the floor. Yeah, yeah come on, Crumbar. What's the choice? Can't happen. You can heal one of I them. Want this guy you can heal there. yourself. Or you can attack this guy. But you could literally kill Eric. Yeah, I want to allow him to die, but yeah. <laughs> you get off legally for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Negligence. <Fuck> like. <laughs> so, I'm going to crumbar myself over to there. Okay. And as I'm running by these squares, grab Eric Schultz and a big Shoot. toss a light goes through him. So what you're, what uh, you're really saying, right, to put you back to yeah. where you were, Right. Mm -hmm. To put you back to where you were. I'm actually thinking, Eric, shows on the door where he touched you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the door, no. So, Crumbar was here. Then you're going to do part of your movement to here. You're mm -hmm. going to do your action, probably, to do the Healy thing, is what I heard. Yeah. And I'll heal him for... What, like... I'll heal him for ten. Okay. Very mm -hmm. generous. Very generous. Cool. Uh, he, uh, there's no point in healing him for one just for him to get struck down again, you know? Yeah. And then I'll continue on to yeah. Good, okay. Cool. So, Eric, you can unpip your skull. You can add your 10 health on. Oh, we just forgot that I'm still pro. 
Yeah, and then you just kind of go <gasps> as you kind of come to. Um, oh, it's like fucking Avatar and Last Airbender. They get shot by Zola through his chest. Mention that rubbish. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. So Sophie, okay. if you're discussing you. if you're discussing the movie, correct us. If you are discussing yeah. the TV show, how the fuck dare you and step off? Um, yeah. Did he not say the film Avatar? No. The oh, Avatar, okay. it's like Avatar oh, The Last Year, isn't it? That show is I, glorious. I, I apologise. Okay. It is. That film is garbage, though. It's on though. Netflix, guys. It's on Netflix. Um, I am going to binge watch the rest of it. It's so oh, good. And then Korra is also amazing. Um, <laughs> I've really never seen Korra. It's very worth it. I mean, it's not as good, but it's still good. See, I would say that nostalgia clouds your judgement because Avatar was new and the fact that it was so good being new and being good and wholesome, yes. As a progressive sequel, Korra is incredibly good for what it does, and I actually I think wasn't... it probably is better as a show than Avatar, but I would still say really? Avatar 1 was better, even though I think Korra technically is a better show, especially the ending. Uh, no, I do like the ending, I just don't think the first season holds up, I think it's probably the weakest Then the first season, season of Avatar, last year, when there's also Gash, so only the ending <laughs> is good, only the ending, um, <laughs> because it's a kid's show. But anyway... In this game that we're in now. Yeah, let's um, go back to this. Yes, even though Reach's character kind of is like Ang anyway. So. Mm -hmm. Right, so, Crumbar, you've done your thing. Mm -hmm. Reach, a death save, please. Just roll an extra 20. Yeah, it's that easy. That's a death save. Oh, man. Well, Mark, right. I failed. Yeah. So, no, Crumbar. He is in the same position. Or now he could die on his next one. Or no, Eric. Yeah, but well, yeah. No, Eric. One. Eric's fine. Yeah, I mean, though, he could medicine me, and if he gets up off the ground, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. Kitty, death save. Not twenty. No, if, if no is ever a... <sighs> come on it's at least a success though you can mark a success yeah. to be fair it would have been hacks one. if she'd managed to get another one because I think the last time she <laughs> she went down she just went okay I'll just stand back up with a wyvern attack <laughs> yeah. it's just like oh no I'm down for the first time our combat effectiveness oh well just stand back up I guess and take my turn anyway <laughs> <laughs> that was rude like how day it was the Kitty Lewick or yeah yeah. Right, okay, okay. And right, it's this guy. Just yeah. gonna light the bottles again, isn't he? Well, now that these are all in a nice line, thanks, Crumbar. No. <laughs> Before I looked at a lot, no. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. So, as you're there, maybe like holding the axe up to him as you healing light, you know, lay on hands, Eric. Um, just glowing like Galadriel in the middle. Um, he just says, Huh. There's some nobility underneath all that barbarian. Huh. Well, he then, took me to me, did he? No, he's talking to Crumbar. And then yeah. uh, he says something that's like incomprehensible to you, Crumbar. And he teleports away by using his wonderful spell. Teleport. My god, that's huge. What? That can't yeah. just be teleport. That's what she said. <laughs> Yeah, it's just how And obviously Where did it go? I wait to read the spell how you use it. That's... What do you mean? Where did it go? And boom! There's his magical effect. <laughs> Red. <laughs> as as that ha as that happens, Crumbo just yelled it again. I'm a fucking paladin. <laughs> so. As that happens, it is now Eric's turn. Eric, what would you like to do? Uh, can I run over to Reach and attempt a medicine to try stabilise him? Yeah. It's like a, <coughs> what's the DC on this? Is it a DC 10 or 12? So I would think it'd be a 12, but I don't know. Let's find it. It's probably worth finding out the I difference between the two. To be honest, but yeah. I mean, I would, I would prefer it to be a 10, but... I mean, yeah, but probably not. Let's see. Stabilising... 
Damage and healing, critical hits, vulnerable healing, instant death, fully unconscious, stabilizing a creature, DC 10, medicine. There we go. Cool. The roll 10 or above. Yeet. Yep, sorry. Oh dear. You go over. I mean, I've just been shocked, so. <laughs> I'm thinking that she's your sense of direction again. You're trying to heal the wrong side of me or something like that. But, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong hole. No, <laughs> as he gets up close to you and he's like, um, I don't know, you, you're you're poorer than I am. Are all your organs in the same places? <laughs> no, I'd, I'd just like to think that I just, um, I've been shot and essentially killed and then I'm just back like, what the fuck? Yeah. It's like I sneezed. But a really long one that you just blacked out for ages. Doing anything else like standing up? Oh yeah. Just you crawled no, I just over. Crawled over to him. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I stood up then walked and did that. Yeah, it's. Oh, I, yeah, I, I like that. You just go <gasps> and crawl over. Reach needs me. <laughs> 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 um, just gonna kind of look at him and go, come back. This is your specialty. Yeah, so Crumbar, it is up to you. What is what you'd like to do? Because you could probably get to either of them. Probably both of them. Um. Yeah. I'm. Well, I was going to say. If I go to that square there. Uh, yeah, I you can like just walk? you can like go there, jump on. In fact, what's it? Thirty hands that you're uh, trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, but yeah. you, I don't mind if you go there. You can just like boot over that. Like, I'd, there's yeah. difficult terrain rules, but fuck it, I don't care. No, I imagine a light and bolt destroyed them chairs. You imagine that, but no, it just seemed to weirdly hit you guys. Mm. Just see if there's any. Well, like... Crumbar cares not for the opinion of chairs and just charges past them. Great. The great, uh, the great chair I... council agrees since you killed one of their members. <laughs> Cunt. <laughs> um, first, first it will be the the demons, then it will be the chairs. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna uh, crouch down beside both of them. Um, nice wee golden glow comes from my hands. So I place them on the shoulder. Are you healing first? Go. Can I do it both at nope. the same time? I'll heal reach first for five. Cool. And it's like, yeah. So give give him a nice wee. Yeah, you can gasp for your your ear again. Bet. What say? Reach. Sorry, yeah. Yep, so you've got five health now. Five. And can I heal Kitty then no. now as well? Nope, no. that was your action. Yeah. Okay. And then reach. Right, I'll unpip my dead and I'll stand up for five. Or for Those half. Points, I think, is that? Or yeah, actually, I can't remember. Is, is, your, is your rules different for standing up because oh, it's half? That. If yeah, probably there's half still. It doesn't matter, you can get to Kitty anyway. I get it. Yeah. Well, oh. then you come to and you just ignore, like, Eric who's pawing over you. <laughs> I fixed you. <laughs> I did it. What's this rich fool doing? <laughs> <laughs> Glowing <laughs> light. <laughs> 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 you guys don't live on your feet? They're all covered in horrible <laughs> goop, though. Um, <laughs> yeah, good one. And, uh, you try it. This is why he's died. <laughs> <laughs> His shoes I've are bleeding. <laughs> what was that so far? Save, my saving throw is good next time if you want. Instead of no, it's a, it's, a, it's a medicine check he's going to do. There ain't no At the moment, oh. yeah, it's not going to cost me anything, and I may as well just for the. Uh, anyway, Sorry. yeah, try medicine just to uh, yeah, stabilize, stabilize Kitty. And luckily, um, you heard her even more. Nope. Fool. <laughs> so, nope, nope. You just go over and Lord you kick her. <laughs> just go for it. <laughs> no, it's Lord Fool hey. and Baldrick. Um, <laughs> hey, you, you <laughs> and, uh, Ooh, that was bad. Yeah, that was bad. Do you want to give me a death saving throw, please, Kitty? Get up and kick him back. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a fail. Oh, no. Right, oh, cool. Thing. Eric, one, one. are you just letting your turn pass to go to Crowbar? Nope. Or are you going to go I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to look at him and go, no, 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 this is how you do it. I just saved you. And you just expect her to glow gold again? <laughs> yes. Cool. So, you stop, you stop her dying. Yes. Um, 
She's now just <laughs> unconscious. Can you roll a d4 for me, Kitty? Cool. So Kitty is unconscious. You are all standing around her. There's um, the roar of the fire behind you. What do you do? Um, I'm gonna go sit on a chair that Cumber has it broken. I uh, I treat um, Eric and uh, reach like the like a the old style saloon swing doors, push them out the way, and put my hand on Kitty, and nice wee glow again, and I'm gonna heal her up for five points. There you go. So you're no longer unconscious for three hours. You are heals for five points, and you wake with a start. Ugh. And then um, Crumbar just kind of like you, cut, you like, stop concentrating on your uh, yeah your, 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 that, your uh, burning um, eggs. I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't want, like he just kind of like crashes down to the ground, just kind of tired and worn out, and just kind of like sits there like. Contemplating the fact that this prick just got away, hmm. and in a bad mood, and he's just kind of sitting looking at the wee axe he's got. I mean, that acted you well, buddy. Yeah, I and he's just he's just looking at it and he's thinking, hmm. If only this were bigger and hammer shaped. So uh, yeah. What's the uh, the chat then? So Crumbar's just sat there. The three yeah. of you kind of like come back to life. He's pro <coughs> you're, you're probably familiar enough uh, with Crumbar kind of bringing his back to the land of the the conscious and not dying. I'm oh, contemplating the spell that he just cast. I'm like, I need to learn this. Yeah. One also one. looking at, at possibly my torn robe again. I imagine. I mean, yeah, it's, it's lightning's maybe been kind. Maybe it hit you in the face. Yeah, I imagine it hit square on in the chest and exploded the uh, the like the top half of the room. <laughs> yeah, so I'm half naked. You just want to be to naked again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Need to learn press the vegetation as a cantrip or mending. Like just mending is the one I'm thinking of. You need to learn that just to start repairing yep. your own clothes. Um, yeah, so we have like, like big lightning scars as well. Yeah, well, they've probably burn marks and stuff. Yeah, I was thinking of this the female in every horror movie it runs yeah. away and dresses gets yeah. <laughs> torn up as she's <laughs> running. But anyway, that's... or the Galaxy Quest yeah. with Sigourney Weaver's outfit where the cleavage yeah. just gets bigger and bigger as the movie goes on. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like the the kind of desert wind kicks up some of the wind in the distance, and maybe you can hear it kind of with the roar of the fire in the background. We do have a problem, and it's a meta problem in a way. We need somebody, to, Princess to get here to close that hellhole. Now she could do with some time to get ready to get mm -hmm. here, and well, our method of getting her here isn't here at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, I, think, I have a I think, of long rest. I think what you could easily do with that, right, is you could easily take from that that Arya would probably see something like and. Um, it wouldn't work. There's no point in summoning her when she's not going to be ready to do this, or she doesn't have the strength yeah. to do it. So you could easily take that if I was to RP Arya's character, because uh, yeah. that, that that isn't that far fetched, is it? That she would Arya would be like, no, she needs to rest. Didn't yeah. you see what it did to her last time? I mean, who was up close? Was it Crumbar when you saw her speak with somebody else's voice? Right, that was creepy. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. If she's not rested, it will kill her. Well, remember, you literally went back to Horizon with her magic, and then you literally left after like, what half an hour of conversation. So. Mm. Yeah. There, there was no time. You have literally just arrived here, because of the hammer. I mean, we can use the hammer again. I'll just use the potion of long rest, pour magic into it, and we can go to Glitterhagen, and we can rest there for a bit in my manor, and then we can go back here or to Horizon. The thing is you've been here now so you know here is a yeah. place. Yes yeah, so I can easily get here. Probably by the hammer alone. Yeah. I'd say it's better that we go to the Horizon and try and see just Aurea. She's probably like super like 
injured still, recovering. It's probably what this has been less than an hour since we left. Since we last spoke with well, him. You've appeared. You've had a conversation with uh, the guy, which was what how many sentences long, and <clears throat> then he summoned the thing that he wanted. It flew away, and then you fought him. So it's probably been all in five minutes. <laughs> yeah. I think she she needs to know about the big flappy birdie the flaming demon, hole in yeah. the ground and the flappy demon. Yeah, yeah. While, 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 while this is true, we have to keep contact to a minimum. We can't just like take. We can't just. Hi, like, I'm not, not away. saying like blow up, being like satin and love you coming down the pub. No, uh, like it's we can't. <laughs> we we can't have frequent contact with her. She has you... stated not to. And I can't use the trade deal thing again. If we want to use that again, let's go back to Glitterhaven so it can look like I've gone back and then I've arrived again. Mm. What does everyone else want to do? I mean, also, he does have siblings that could be proxies if you looped them into the plan. Alright, alright. Yep. Back to Horizon anyway, I think is a good idea. I don't know if sleeping here is going to help with exhaustion. It'd probably be good to get rid of that anyway for a start. That's why we go to points. Glitterhagen. Yeah, yeah, Glitterhagen. Alright, okay, Glitterhagen. Go to Horizon, what, what are we going to do? Pay for, a, like, a tavern? Ach. Why Why pay for it when we can go to mine and rest in my manor? I mean, Glitterhagen, that dragon city, yeah. Uh, no, you're thinking of no. Axis. Axis, right. Glitterhagen's the place where you met me and yeah. got the ink. Yeah, remember, and, uh, he's where, after he's picked up Eros. It should be okay. Well, yeah. he lived there, yeah, so yeah. it shouldn't be too difficult to get him there. And as I said, he's seen Oof. here now, so he could, in theory, bring you back here. Plus, we can go speak to Commander Cellblast, like, uh, he's expecting us from, like, a million years ago. Is he expecting us? That's not a bad know? idea. <laughs> he oh, was, well. <laughs> well, he, he was told that, uh, to expect us to arrive from evil night elf, dark elf, Lol. Yeah, and that was like, <laughs> what, something like 10 days ago or something? Probably longer. That would have been. By the time, actually, no. realistically, it's six and a half, isn't it? It's maybe only been a couple of days for him that, since he's had that message, given sailing times. So, yeah. Assuming he got the message, of course. But yeah, so it's up to you guys that you can. I mean, you just could attempt to set up a camp here. There is a campfire. Crap, I'd like but... to try. I mean, do we get the same kind of eerie feeling that the last place had? Real insight. Can we give him advantage and help? Him? Help. Him. Wait, yeah. no. Nah. You shouldn't do. You should no, do that. No. You've got the disadvantages. Yeah, no, yeah. These, these are Narrow insight, please. You can, but it wouldn't be with advantage. It's, this is like individual. There's no way somebody could help you with this. Right. Okay. Yeah. I still want to roll it though. Thank right, cool. <laughs> Not much, but better. Um, yeah. There's um. The pit doesn't feel exactly comfortable, but. There isn't the gloom overhanging, like in mm. the Darwood. I'd say it'd be okay to camp here then. You don't so feel any of that. That's that's what Reach gets. You get nothing, Cumber. Yeah, yeah. You can't. No, 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 You're I'm too good. angry. That's... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah no, we just... could probably camp here and just save our potions for later. So we could probably camp just for real and relax naturally. Yeah, yeah I'd be okay with that. Um. Oh, so it would definitely be like Justoria's potion or something like that. That thing would be referred to in game. I feel like the term "long rest" wouldn't be. It wouldn't be called yeah. a potion of long rest in the game. Uh, I've just wrote yeah. that so you just knew exactly what it did. Um, yeah. just as a point of a uh, meta. But yeah, I just didn't know what to call it. No, that's fine. That's totally fine. Um, but it'd be like the potion Justoria gave you. Um, the restorative, you know. Um. It's actually just a mix of cocaine and water, but um, so I just want to yeah, set up a. Party, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say yeah, it's the victory party. <laughs> yeah, the, the victory <laughs> champagne. Uh, just want to take a a long rest then, set up camp somewhere. Yeah, 
Yeah. Thanks so everyone. Have a great I, I still yeah. think we should go to Glitterhagen. Just so they are, but you could do with the rest to get there, and it'd be better saving just Doris potion. I mean, we don't know if anything else will come out of this hell hole. Can we afford to wait eight hours in front of it? I think yeah, it's a good I'm already way changing my stats. It's a good way to find out if anything else is going to come out. <laughs> but... I mean, true. That, that is true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we won't be rested up for it. But yeah, Where would just like to set up camp? Away from it. Yeah. Like, enough to yeah. keep an eye on it. But More or less where we came in from. Aye. Yeah, we'll keep an eye out for Aria dropping in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, she is here, right? She's agreed with all the plans so far. Yeah, yeah. Why don't we sit down here? Because like they're making like, rocks. Uh, in my mind, Ari is still trapped in the portal. Yeah, okay, yeah. They've got city rocks, yeah. Sit in, sit in a rock. Or we could bring the chairs over if we haven't broke them all. No, the, nah. the chairs are still there. Um, I'm going to use them for firewood. I'm going to be lying down anyway, so yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, so. If you want to do a... Are you going to eat rations or are you going to hunt? Uh, I think it will be a rations term. I think Arya would be willing to do some hunting for us. Oh yeah, Arya always likes hunting. Yeah. Sadly uh, though, as a narrative looks yeah. used player, yeah, it's almost like... Um, I'll, go, I'll go have a wee hunt. What? Because, it's a survival? Uh, it would be survival. Yeah. Remember, you're at disadvantage for this, Crumbar. Yeah, let me do oh, yeah. I'm half decent at survival, I'm not brilliant, but I'm half decent. Go on, look if you wanted. You could give him a hand if you wanted and he would be ruling normally. I mean, yeah, I'll give him a hand. Right, okay. Cool, if you two... Be the if, of survival. if Reach and Eric go, it's advantage, right? So... Right, cool. Hey, right, Eric, you help me, hi. Right. I hope there's nothing bigger than five hit points that we find. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's not really a survival success then, is it? It's more like a survival <laughs> failure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reach roll with advantage if he's helping you. If you just wander off. It's got to be something at least. Yeah, yeah scorpions, weirdly. Uh, I, I know a good fire where we can roast these, <laughs> funny enough. <laughs> Oh, imagine it just, in, serious, imagine it just yeah. infuses them and they're all hell scorpions at that point. So, actually, nope, nope, no, plan, B, plan B. Um, <laughs> but yeah, can you tell me who's on watch first? I'll be on watch first. Cool. I need you to roll oh. perception and then who's on watch second? Um, I'll go last. Okay. I'm easy as you go in second, but. Uh, Crumber, you're decent hit points. So it's well, no, he's, he's just healed himself. That's why yeah. he's healed himself. Phil. He was. Oh, he was on jumped. Right, it okay. was on yeah. fourteen. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, I'll go second. Yeah. Cool. Roll perception, and then I want Crumbar to roll perception, and then Eric to roll perception. It's just normal perception, then. Yeah. yeah. Perception. All right, there is. Cool. I see nothing. Crumbar, yeah. perception at disadvantage. I don't even see the darkness. Uh, perception, yeah. Uh, it's actually just normal perception, not a disadvantage, actually. I can tell you, Rich, darkness is my old friend. <laughs> What's the perception <laughs> for? And then... <laughs> things moving in the... Last but not least. in the dark. Yeah. Oh, God damn. Should just let Kitty do watch all night. Mm. Cool. Uh, Kitty, as they all, like, tuck in for sleep um, after the scorpions have been munched and crunched, you, you obviously climb to the top of the rock, get a look around, kind of like narrow your wood elven eyes, look around. You can swear that you're hearing things, like whispering, that isn't coming from the group. Oh boy. Yeah. And it's that kind of, you know, the wind blows and it's like, swa, 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 swa. And you're like, wait, what? Um, but. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe even if you do like a wee patrol around and stuff, you just have that eerie shiver up your spine, but you can't see anything. But you definitely like, as if there is this whispering just beyond what you can see. Yeah. Ooh, are you going to tell us? Yeah, I was going to say, so when Reach, you wake Reach up for his watch, do you tell him anything? Yeah, just like, I don't know if it's the wind or 
sleepy, but just keep your wits about you. Okay, yeah. Something Crumbar's happened. already yeah. out cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so reach you take watch, but absolutely nothing happens. Nothing. Yeah. Not a thing. Like, you're probably just thinking maybe she's been a bit spooked. <laughs> which is valid, right? Because, yeah. you know, you just watched some weird mothman <laughs> be formed out of hellfire. So that's the not moth. a um, <laughs> Or the herald, at least. That's, oh, that's how it gets delivered. Um, it's the fly! Right, cool. You wake up Crumbar next, because you're a brave man. Do you tell him yep. any of this, or... Uh, you just let it pass? Was a bit spooked, but I've not heard anything, or seen anything, so it seems to be all quiet, but keep your wits about you, anyway, just in case. Sounds good to me. Cool, yep. And same for you, Crumbar. Like, your watch goes without incident at all. You just maybe stare at the fire, like the big fire. Kind of. I'm going to assume you've made a smaller fire here to keep you guys warm. Um... Yeah, we've probably yeah. brought some of it over. <laughs> you probably didn't bring that oh, over. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. To maybe break up the chairs for wood, etc. Um, but yeah, you stare off at that big fire, and maybe it's just the, like the the red robed guys, like words that maybe echo in your head a bit, you know. Um, maybe the orcish, like I guess, wouldn't be carcasses, but corpses. Yeah, all lying there. Because you don't see your kind often, um, except last session, I guess. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that goes through your head. Is there anything um, relating to obviously that that goes through Crumbar's mind, or is he just quiet with his own thoughts? More just thinking, like, where did they all come from? Yeah. Right. It's, it, know, it does look like a mass slaughter. Yeah, because it's like, if it was one or two, fair enough, like, I could understand another one or two orcs going off to do their own thing, but, like, a ma that massive amount. Yeah, and it's it, like, and like, that is quite a, it's a, it's a huge area. Um, yeah. Like, let's see, what are we at? Like, that is, like, 75 huge. feet across, yeah. So, that's a lot of stuff. A lot of orcs. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, your your watch passes without incident as well. You wake up Eric to take his his turn. Mm -hmm. Do you tell him anything about what the previous folks have said, or is that just so far from your mind? Just stay sharp. Something's just not so quite right about the place. Oh, maybe it's the big fiery hellhole over there. Nah, that's pretty standard by nowadays. <laughs> yeah, for some reason we like camping near, near these, don't we? Alright, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, after what we've been going through, it's pretty standard to see one of these things now. In there. Sleep in a bed, would it? Yeah. <laughs> You're just still grumpy that we didn't go back to your bit. I miss my bit, alright. Leave me be. Uh, I just kind of give him a pat on the back and then just kind of slouch down and go back for another wee nap. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, and then, Eric, you're uh, on your watch again. You've been told very little by Grumbar, actually. And, uh, yeah. I use my dark lights to like scout around the area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and anything going through your your thoughts at all upon reflection of nonsense and such, or um, weirdly enough, the book is probably the last thing in his mind. It's more that a relief it's gone now. Um, it's more the lightning that got surged through him and just blacks him out. Yeah, right. He wants to learn. He's intrigued. He has seen magic. That he's like, I want Cassis. Yeah, <laughs> give me that. <laughs> I want to do this. A, that's cool. Yeah. So, yeah, you do that. Time passes. The sun starts to come up. Like the night is probably probably the most comfortable here. The uh, the temperature wise, whereas the 
like as soon as the morning sun hits it starts to like really uncomfortably warm again it can then maybe you realize that the desert focus isn't the best very kind of dry uh, but yeah your night goes uninterrupted you all get a, a full long rest so you can heal up fully he's also all get xp yay, yay. for not dying yeah <laughs> for surviving an encounter yes uh, Please tell me it's as much as I think we need. At least for not dying totally. Okay. It's um, 1200 XP each. <coughs> not bad going. So that takes us 7500. Which, Which is, is a level up! Which is a level up! Huh, now I have an excuse to why I learned lightning bolt. Right. <laughs> so far, I seem to be a natural learner. Oh. It's almost like as a sorcerer, your magic just grows with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to update Arya sheet as well, so that yeah. we know that she's got the XP. So oh, there's an Arya. She's appeared at the. So it's seven seven five zero zero. Yeah. So before Emily does anything else, clicky button wise, um, I see. I would quite like you guys to chat about what your next plan is. So you wake up, obviously you feel invigorated. What do you discuss in the morning? That we should head back to Horizon. No, we can't go back to see it. Don't know how many times I have to stress this. We, like, it doesn't make sense I'd be going every day to go see her. We can't speak to her as often as we want to. She has stated this. If we had to speak to her under the guise of the trade deal with my house, I mean, how many days? Let me go back and get something. Hmm. It's not so, every day, though. Yeah, so we just leave this flaming hellhole wide open here. What else can we do? We can't shut it. Ah, but the princess could possibly. Shit. What if in a day? We don't know if she's fully recovered from that. Yeah. What but if we she... split up? Yeah. So to split up. Yeah, yeah. Sung Su is always a bad idea. Anyway. Mm. <laughs> I'm more just thinking, like, because if one of us goes and sees your story, it wouldn't be as bad as us all going. Right, so it's... let's put it this way, right? See if you knew there were five people working with Jastoria, or you thought five people were working with Jastoria, and then they all turned up the next day again, reported back, and then Jastoria left Horizon and returned back to Horizon weakened, and then one of those five turned up. Would you just not be suspicious, Scott? Yeah. So, just as a outsider point of view, I don't think it matters. I think they'll know it's still related, unless you do something clever. Yeah, like, oh, under the trade deal, guys, like, that's fair you enough. You could like, go do something deal. else that's on your list, right? If, in the meantime. Or, I know it's yeah, a big liability, leaving a giant hellhole open, but I mean... We can't do anything. Yeah. We could go back to um, Glithagen, go inform Commander Slelbass about the Abyss, and <laughs> what was the message the Drow wanted to do, send him? Do we remember? It was a message? Yeah. Pretty sure there was. Oh no, we wanted to go find the gold, great gold worm, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, what we think he us. might be. To say, by well, the way, all, your son may have been fighting for two months and a week on yeah, your watch. Yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. Kind of need yeah. to tell him. He's your boss as well. He's the one that sent us on the mission <laughs> into the abyss in the first place. So you might want to know. He has got a point, you know. And also, we don't want to be one or two more days till we could charge the hammer up again and get back, aren't we? So. I mean, we could go to Glitterhagen. You guys could go speak to Commander Slobas, and I can just rest back at at my mansion and get my get enough power back to charge my hammer again if we need. Could also, while resting, actually put the trade negotiations in place. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Also a thing. Like that is a thing you can, can actually make that legitimate. Yeah, right. Like because yeah. at the moment let's, it was literally just a lie. <laughs> let, yeah. Let's head let's head to the truth. <laughs> but, yeah. It wasn't a lie. But, yeah. <laughs> it was a sweet little lie. <laughs> um so, Let's yeah. head to Glitterhagen then and make Eric. Well, it just depends cool. what you think as a group. So, 
I was going to say, everybody put your hands up for Glare Hagen and then tell me if you put your hand up. <laughs> raised. It's raised. My hand is. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah, so Glitter Hagen or Horizon. So this is for the Glitter Hagen vote. Oh. Yeah. I'll go for Glitter Hagen. Um, this thing is, is yeah, reasonable. Yeah, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's not just because I want to go home. There is, uh, there is stuff to do. Yeah, in like it, 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 it is valid. Um, right. Arya. Yeah. Well, we, yeah. well, we do an odds and evens for Arya, right? So odds <laughs> she goes to Glitter Hagen and evens Horizon. That makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. Or I guess evens, yeah, that'll be fine. Even Horizon, odd, Claire Hagen. Odd for Hagen. I think it's an odd, so it's Hagen. Hagen. Anyway. Yeah. Cool. That's fine. Yay. Yeah. Cool. A high level charisma has won through today. So are you gonna smash the ground with the hammer? Yeah, I need to drain all the sorcery points again. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, it's four points. It makes so maybe, maybe everybody yeah. will stand around you then. Yeah, as a, it just don't be worried about all the draining into the hammer. Yeah, as all this red fucking energy blood stuff drains into it. <laughs> Move Crumbar closer. Right, as well. so converting spell slots into um, right, so you've got, sorcery points. Yeah, you four sorcery points in you now. Dump them into the hammer. Already done. Cool. So you're now drained. Now you could cash in the spell slots equal to the level. So do you have a third level spell slot yet? No. No, I've got a two. You got a two. And a one. A two and a one. Okay. Yeah. So. Oh, three twos and four ones, technically. Right, so th those levels are the number of sorcery points you can get back each time, but you can only store four maximum. Okay, so I could do. Cash in two, two of your twos, right? And yeah. Then throw, throw in that four, so you're up to eight. And then you could do. Another two. That'd yep. be fine. And then that's your hammer. So as you guys see this, you just see all those blue scars opening up across his body, like ripping open tears on his skin and hands and eyes and face. And from it pours this red energy that feeds into the hammer. And that doesn't sound terrifying. Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> so, it's normal to me now. <laughs> I'm used to it. And then the hammer starts to glow brightly, the jewel on the top of it. Right, right. everyone hold on. We're about to get tumbling again. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hitting the ground again. Where are you thinking yep. of when you hit? My bed. Okay. <laughs> Maybe make, comfy land. Make the attack roll. Hopefully your bed's still in your house and it's not been sold. But yeah. Oh god, yeah, good point. Cool. Can you roll a D100 for me? Yeah. Cool, that's fine. How uh, did you get 12 out of 100? Because it's a number between 1 and 100. So one, yeah. That, that's just yeah. how it works. I mean, here, I roll one as well, right? Boom. Hopefully, it will low number. There you go. Yeah, yeah. See, that's what I was just saying. I, I was expecting know. something that you wouldn't get ah, on a D20, you know? Nah, it's, I thought it added up as well for a second there, but I realised it was like 10 short. Yeah, um, yeah 19, it. <laughs> yep. So, yep, Eric smashes the ground with his clearly demonic hammer. Um, maybe it's not so demonic. We end up somewhere and else. then it like rips open the ground in like a big red vortex that en encompasses all of you because you're within the perfect radius. And whoosh, you just go down. And then you just fall through some red, obviously. And we'll end the session there. Yeah, I thought you might. <laughs> yeah, I did as well. I'm like, you bastard. <laughs> Because we're yeah, probably. this is this is well, this is drained me, guys. Uh, we end the session there. So, what would you like to call this one? Back in the ground again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another one bites the dust. Another one, yeah. yeah. Well, I was thinking of this one for the entire session before we even started. <laughs> La, ha, ha, lol. Uh, so that's my vote is just deserts. Um, no question mark in that if we're doing it. Uh, yeah, think. just deserves. Yep. Uh, you've also got um, the man in the man in red. Baddies. <laughs> Baddies. Uh, oh yeah, the herald. Oh yeah. I mean, the herald is something. I like the herald.
I guess I'll, I'll vote for my own one as well then, since I also like it. Yeah. <laughs> the last it. hammer time. I feel like that's going to be an <laughs> ongoing thing, though, so it's definitely not. Well, uh, <laughs> Names weld power. <laughs> weld. <laughs> weld. Apparently. That is for wheels. That'll do. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I eat, but other than that. That one went. That one went. What names real power? It's up to you guys what you want. Boom. Bird names real power is good, yeah, if you wanted that one. Um, so it's between the Herald and names real power. Would you prefer? Uh. Names real power. I'm not gonna prefer that one, but yeah, there you go. But yeah, <laughs> like, I'm the only one. But yeah, a shocking revelation. No, we'll we'll do it by players, and I will unvote. Um, names wield power. That is the name of the session. Yeah. Session twenty five. Names wield power. Uh, right. Uh, goals. Find out what the red robe mage is trying to accomplish. By opening the hell holes. Nothing we I think we found out, funny enough, but it was not through much help of our own. Mm. Oh. We found out thing. that he was he raised he's been raising demons. This one called the hell to serve hell the hell. Yeah. hell. He I is mean, doing hell I, just playing I mean, hell to earth. It's I'd say he's probably did get that right because uh, you've yeah. got enough to piece together the fact that he said, you know, he's got the king of hell out of him, right? And mm -hmm. it's the herald for the king of hell. So while you don't know exactly what he's up to, he's got a good start on that, right? Yeah. 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 I've so, got enough to go find a book somewhere and know exactly. Right? But that's, yeah. No, definitely. Um, Google search that. So if you want, we can leave that as an ongoing thing. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, maybe it is a case of maybe he's found a library somewhere or something, or somebody smart to find that out. Uh, let me just delete clear homophobia from this, Eric. It's <laughs> not um, homophobia. And, um, right. So, what was it? Are we happy with goals as is? Yeah, keep that going yeah. until next time. Oh, good, okay. And yeah. round up chat. So, Eric, you want to start us off? Well, we just saw the power of the ability I'm going to get, which I'm excited about. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's gonna be good because that's like one of your spell choices next, isn't it? So, oh yeah, <laughs> cannot wait to rip through a line of just did to us like that rip. Yeah, it was such a good line as well. I'm not gonna lie. And see when Crumbar moved, I'm like, oh Crumbar, if he was here to kill you guys. It'd be also, so easy. I need to I need to go find another book. <laughs> Although yeah. it might not be another book. <laughs> yeah, right. That thing. Well, and I just have to go back and go. My book broke. And then, <laughs> then, then Dale was like, Where, "Where's my clothes?" Or Dane, even sorry. I'll be like, "The Wizard King's got them, and the book is destroyed." <laughs> the Herald of the King of Hell destroyed my book, and the Wizard King stole my pajamas. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like that's what happened. <laughs> I used my hammer, went through a portal, saw the Wizard King, he backed me in, we had food, we watched a gladiatorial match, I fell asleep in his bed, he didn't fall asleep in a bed by the way, I left the clothes, uh, teleported to my friends, fought naked against some trees which beat the shit out of me, got some new clothes, went to one hell hole, came back, had to get some new clothes again, and then uh, we went to another one, and then my book destroyed. Boom, gone. I missed about where the princess just Dora gave you your new clothes. <laughs> oh, I didn't have to say how I got the new clothes. Such a great nonsense story, and it's just been Eric's journey so far for a tiny bit <laughs> of that game. It's been like well, over the course of maybe four sessions total. Um, all that happened to you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the hammer will take you places, right? So, oh, yeah. it definitely will. Just keep um, hammering away. Yeah, just, yeah. Mm. Maybe look for a chisel next to for some direction. Um, <laughs> Ethel, should like to add there, Eric. Um, I can't wait to level up. Yeah, That's right. Um, I mean, eager for you guys to have leveled up as you sort of all now fully been aware that you have hit level five, which is awesome. Uh, Kitty, uh, give us some chat. Uh, tough fight, eh? It was a bit, yeah. 
Mm. Like, oh man, when the freaking the Thunderbolt thing, I was just like, oh cool, minus twenty five health now. That's a new one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, usually it's a uh, reach that's on that position. Oh no, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but weirdly, yous were all in a line, and the one person able to heal everyone wasn't. Conveniently. Yeah. Eight. Right, so that was reasonable. And I lost the top half of my room. God damn. Yeah, it's, it's atrocious. You and your quest to be naked throughout this campaign. <laughs> um, <laughs> ridiculous. Lord Aerid, the, stre the streaker, Ringwood. <laughs> um, anything else for that? Okay. No. It's nice seeing your, your magical dagger in action as well. Um, I know, I finally got to use it. it and great. he did not like that. He definitely didn't he like didn't. like he got stabbed and he was like, Ah, oh, that actually hurt like full hurt. What what that's not fair. That's not how the rules are. Um, <laughs> magic missile her. <laughs> it's like damn it, that's my move, bitch. Yeah. It's um it's the best thing wizards can do when they're annoyed, right? It's just oh just magic missile you. It's fine. <laughs> just hurt hurt now, please. Um It's very good. The yeah, if that's yourself, reach. <laughs> oh, back in the ground again, so that was kind of... I mean, yeah, standard, though, right? I mean... To that familiar, yeah, territory. That's, but, to be uh, fair, this guy was, wasn't was exactly your level, put it that way. Nah, yeah, um, it was well above. Yeah, you did well, was. given that you were like a party member down, though, and a healer down. Um, you did but well. I, again, but I presume he did no more than a quarter of his hit, hit points. Who can say? I can say, yeah, but who but can say? Um, <laughs> you did a lot though of damage to him. Like he definitely did weigh in. You did more than half. Put it that way. Um, right, not willing you, to I give more than that though. But you definitely did yeah. more than half of damage to him. Um, slow going though, of course. Um, yeah. But yeah, especially. His collection of resistances are interesting, which is why I like that character. Um, uh -huh. But, yeah, it was... His ability to damage is the reason he's such a high challenge rating. Um, uh -huh. It's not necessarily his survivability, if that makes sense. Um, mm -hmm. Because obviously he's a caster, so they don't really survive long. But, as you saw from his shocking grasp, which is a cantrip for him. Uh, oh, yeah, and a cantrip. Scary, yeah, it was like, what, 48 lightning damage or some shit like that, so, Stupid. yeah, it's so good. And he gets advantage because Crumbar's an armor, right, so, it's, mm. uh, it was an obvious choice for that one. Mm. Um, but yeah, like, you did really well, like, that XP that you've got was, wasn't exactly what I would call equal to having been, had your ass handed to you by this guy, but <laughs> Crumbar's decision is the reason you've got so much put it that way because um, Crumbar right. meant you guys got away from that because he chose to heal um, I thought it was going to be silly and try and stay and fight and engage the guy and I thought but then you can't move to do a medicine check next turn what are you doing Crumbar yeah. but he did good in the end um, and it bought that guy that one turn he needed to cast teleport so he could get away because um, he was he was done do you know what I mean no. he was done there he was having fun winding Crumbar up and there kind of seeing what you guys were all about since you've turned up multiple times now and he's just kind of like alright cool bye I guess um, <laughs> as he said what was it none of this even matters or whatever his phrase was um, yeah so yeah he was he was fun um, I'm disappointed he counted my crit oh I love trouble. it it was so good because I was saying that to Stu on the break I was like I didn't even hesitate I was countering whatever you were doing because I knew it'd be a magic so it didn't matter. So I think I clicked counter before I noticed it was a crit anyway. And then I thought it was a crit and I thought, oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so disappointed. I'm like, no, no, I've done so much. I love it. It's so good. And it's just the, he let you cast to see what you were capable of, right? And then he gets to be smug. And they're like, no. I, I I imagine if you could see the power like building up in him, it was like no 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 we're not doing that one. It's just the the power of a uh, counter spell. It's a very good spell. Um, just ridiculous. I, like in my head when I saw it twenty five, I just imagined like me holding my hammer up and like red, like red lightning sparking mm. off everywhere, and it just goes like that, and it's like the light just turns out. Like, 
Yeah. Huh. Yup. At that point, I was like, we don't need to fight this guy, like, we need to run away. <laughs> yeah, and I think as well, like, narratively, if you see that scene, you see what he's actually capable of, right? So he was able to, like, really do a lot of damage to Crumber just by touching him, and then walk away from him. Obviously, it's a nice side effect of the, the shocking grasp spell. And he gets to walk a bit, and then, like, this entire time you've been shooting him with lightning anyway. And then at the point where you go to cast something more dangerous, he's just like, by the way, no, I'm done with that. Like less of your casting now, please. Um, then use his lightning and blast through the three of you. Um, <laughs> use my own elements against him. Like, which, oh, to be I... fair, was really risky given that it could have killed you outright, Eric. Um, but that's what, yeah. that, that's what that's about. You've survived a lot of things that should have killed you outright. Remember that uh, <laughs> big tall boy that just golden crowned your neck? And, um, oh, yeah. Yeah, that was like, what was it, 5d12 or some shit you survived? Like... Eric's impressive, to be honest. Quite frankly, with his ability to survive this bullshit without actually going down all the time. Um, I mean, he was a tank in the abyss. On Crumbar's, uh, since Scott's left to go, like, KO, I think, um, to his kind of merit as well, like, when he decided to actually use the spells I suggested, I was like, this is the type of stuff you want to do against, like, when you have one target to fight, or even when you've got multiple targets, you want to be hitting with everything you've got. And, uh, seeing what Crumbar could do, even with his slightly non-preferred weapon, right, his axe, um, he did pretty damn good with that, to be honest. Um, the spells really did hit nice for him, but it did burn through pretty much everything he could do in that fight, including his healing for you guys at the end, because he did, he didn't need to give you all of that. Um, no. But, I mean, let's face it, it was that kind of long resty time, by the looks of it. Um, but no, I think he did pretty damn well as well. I enjoyed his roleplay back and forth with the uh, the man in red. That was quite fun. With his kind of, you know, give me your name so I can look you up on the Monsteropedia. <laughs> and the guy's like, names have power? No. Bugger off. You're like, <laughs> you're a small orc to me. Look over there. Those were all orcs too. Bye. Um, so no, I think Scott did quite well as well. Um, also making the right decision, right? I know we all kind of went, so he will die, even though it was still at a dice roll's mercy, but we know, we know what would have happened, don't we Eric? You would have rolled a one, you would have died, yep. Eric's journey would have ended there, the hammer I'm would have fell, Eric. I mean, the hammer would have fell through a red portal, gone forever. Um, Hits your new character on the head, deals double damage because it's a crit. They die as well. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So we're already. Then I make the female lock because yep. I'm like, right, okay, we'll do that. And then somehow I have to roleplay the fact that uh, my character had sex with Cumber. <laughs> yeah. Which is. Just like, not it's, impressive. It's not the weirdest thing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, guys, that was a lot of fun. Um, I'm sure it will be fun catching Arya up on the shenanigans. Um, I don't. She has homework to do. Yeah, and I don't see what she'll uh, disagree with either, quite frankly. I think it does make sense to kind of go and collect yourselves and give Justoria some time to heal up a bit. Uh, and obviously, if need be, you could send messengers officially through the, the trading channels to be like, when you're cool, could you maybe help? <laughs> um, but yes, so thanks for playing, guys. Uh, and goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Yeah, bye.